Hello, hello, hello. It's me, Sharon Haver, here to help you get out there when you realize that your expertise is not enough to stand out in a crowded market. So, today's a funny day. I'm in my place in Jackson, hence a little Western day, right? We're very Western here. So, I just came back. I have a, um, I have a call in about eight minutes, so I'm going to try to make this super fast. But what I wanted to tell you is I just came back from my first cross-country Nordic run of the season. We're only here a couple of days, and um, we had errands to do this morning. I went out, and it weather is gorgeous. It's not too cold, and the snow is coming down, which is not a good thing for cross country. And it was also super, 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 super windy. That guy at the um, place said that it was about 40 miles an hour earlier. So it petered down, but there wasn't a lot of visibility out there. You can only go a little bit, and it's just it's one step at a time. It was actually kind of perfect for me because today was my first day out. I didn't want to tucker myself out. I already did some Pilates and it was a good little bit to get out there, even though when the wind died down, it was just like, oh my God, so gorgeous. But when the wind wasn't dying, it was a snowstorm. So the same thing relates to your business. When you're trying something new, when you want to get something different, when you want to get out there and you're being even nervous about doing a Facebook Live like this or um, even doing your photos and your headshots and you're really feeling kind of oh sensitive and overly critical about how you're connecting with your audience, the really the best way of doing it is learn all the skills you can but also go out there one step at a time, just like I did today on my first cross country run, just one step at a time. I was only out for 20 minutes, but it was a very vigorous 20 minutes. So I did as much as I can to come back, to be able to come in now and talk to you and to be ready for my call. But it's the same thing. Like when you're trying to learn how to do your photos, you know, if you're using your camera, which mine's around me, is it around me? Ah, I got a slot. So let's say you want to learn how to do your headshots and you're really not sure about how to do it. You got your camera, right? And all you got to do is turn the camera up, is turn it around. Make sure you have the light. The light's coming at me this way. And then if you want to do something what I think is a really good trick when you're doing these lives, you always make, you know, your, the, the thumbnail that Facebook finds is really kind of weird and creepy. So I always like to do one either on the, on my webcam, on my computer, which is also really awesome for photos or right like this. So hold it in the same place your cam your computer is and take your pictures one step at a time learn and then you can take these photos you can also repurpose them on your ig stories on your facebook stories you can repurpose them in your instagram feed you could repurpose them um, on your facebook feed always have that good thumbnail so learning the, the basics of having to take your own photos not only makes you feel more confident in front of the camera but it also helps you relate to your tribe in the most authentic way because they're getting to see you so I hope that helps. And if you want more, if you really want more to learn how to get into your best self, to stand out and become an authentic superstar, I invite you to go over to AuthenticSuperstar.com right now. It's my free challenge that's coming up really soon. It's only going to be free for a really short time. So I encourage you to get in there right now, AuthenticSuperstore.com. You can come in as an early bird and I'll teach you how to position yourself, how to brand yourself, how to take your own photos and how to be seen so that you can be able to attract your ideal audience and scale the audience you have just by being the best at being you. So that sounds good. Let me show you something here in my house. So if you want to see, I thought you'd like to see my mantle that's my moose see we love wildlife out here but we like to keep them alive so all oh, we have lots of pictures of horse and of elk and of moose and there's a big horn around and all sorts of stuff but none of them were ever breathing <laughs> that's my policy out here i like animals around here it's very western it's very rustic but none of my folks were ever breathing so anyway that's it i hope to see you guys soon and um, i'm gonna go for my meeting so don't worry you'll teach you everything you need just go over to authenticsuperstar.com bye-bye take care and if you found this enjoyable 
share it with a friend. The more, the merrier. Okay, guys? And leave a comment and let me know where you're at and what your struggles are and what you're just taking your baby steps at doing, whether your first day at a cross-country skiing, learning how to swim, learning how to create a funnel, learning how to take your own photos, learning how to be confident on camera. Let me know what your first baby step is today. Okay? I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. AuthenticSuperstar.com.